kids Adam here and today something's wrong something's different I don't think we're in the right place let me check my notes here how many birds does it take to change a light bulb ideally three but two can why did the two can stop using his phone he got a large bill that's a good one how many beers can a tropical bird drink two cans uh, no single bird can defeat me in a fight, but two can. Uh, what did the tropical bird say when he was asked to help operate a giant forklift? Don't worry, one bird can't usually do this, but two can. Um, I heard Fruit Loops is putting marshmallows in their cereal. You know, just like Lucky Charms. I guess two can play at that game. I was at the zoo recently, and uh, one of the tropical birds just started screaming at me, so I screamed back. Two can play at that game, too. And, uh, oh, the last note here is, <laughs> what do you call a pair of toucans? A four-can. So if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, we are on uh, Toucan Studios' page. Uh, I am Adam from Hi YouTube. I'm Dad. I love mixing dad jokes. Uh, I, I would call it humor. You may not. Uh, and I like mix mixing that with mixing and music. And I do bass. You see all the basses around me. And uh, Reaper. And lately, uh, I've been working a lot with John's plugins. Uh, and he asked me if I was interested in demoing one and kind of introducing one on his channel. So here I am. Do not adjust your well, it's not a TV. Don't, I don't know what you would do these days. Don't turn the dial. You, you, there's no dials anymore either. But anyway, I'm here to introduce a new plugin. This is the Toucan bus compressor I'm going to talk about. Let's head over to Reaper and I will show you how I'm using it. All right, here we are in Reaper. This is a project from my band Underground Hives album, Themes from Strange Dreams. It's called Strange. In fact, uh, I would hope that somewhere in this video, in other other cards and things or description or something, John would put a link to all my stuff. Take a, a look over there. I do all sorts of different musical things. I'm a bass player first, uh, engineer kind of second, songwriter, producer, I guess. Uh, I do kind of do run the gamut of uh, what I'm doing over on my channel, and I, I like to have fun. So let me uh, just play just a like, little part of this uh, second verse here for you in this song. funky kind of rock style we have some uh some slap bass on there uh with some envelope filters on there and a whole bunch of other stuff i like to use so it, again the plugin that we're talking about is the toucan bus compressor you know and let, let me just throw this on a channel and you can see what it looks like uh what we have here is we have a stereo bus compressor uh, we have your typical, your threshold, your ratio, your output or your makeup gain. Uh, there is a high pass filter on this. I was told by John, this is what comes into the compressor. It's not a high pass filter of what comes out. Uh, it is what frequencies come into the compressor that you want to compress. Sometimes you may not want to compress those really low lows. So you may want to roll those off before they hit the compressor. And then you have your attack and your release, uh, bypass. And then there's three modes. There's a stereo, which I'm going to be using exclusively in this uh, video. There's a dual, which is separate left and separate right. And then there's mid side where the left channel is the mids. The right channel is all these sides, both of the sides. So you know, mid side. Uh, let's take a look at this in a actual uh, use here. And we'll start with the drum bus. So bring up my effects on my drum bus. I am using the SSL native bus compressor uh, by SSL themselves. Let's see uh, what this looks like compared to the Toucan. Kind of bring this up here, unselect it so we don't mess around. Let me extend that out. Drag this over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up pretty similar to how I have this set. We'll go back and forth and see what it sounds like. Uh, in the uh, SSL, I'm using a ratio of 4 to 1, which by default, it's, well, it's 4.1 because I just clicked a little bit. It's 4 to 1 as the default. Uh, I'm not going to use the high pass just because I want to get this to work um, as similar as uh, I have the SSL as possible. Uh, attack on this I have at 30. So one thing you notice about John's plugins, the dial moves pretty fast. Uh, if you hold on the shift key, it moves in a slower increment. So I want to get this right at 30. 
And then the release is at auto, and all I have to do is drag this all the way over to auto, turns on this little cool red light here. Uh, I do want to put it in stereo mode, and then I'm just going to dial the threshold back to match. So I'll play it here in Reaper first. Looks like we're getting about 2 to 3 dB of gain reduction. So let me flip this thing on, and I'll dial in the threshold to get that. Here we go. Looks pretty good. Uh, makeup gain, I probably want to give it a little bit. I'm just going to do uh, a dB or two and I'll kind of turn off and on to volume match. That's pretty good. Now let's compare the two. So in Reaper, if you go into your plugin list like this and you click on an effect and then you hold on control and click on the next effect. If you then hit control B on your keyboard, it will flip back and forth between these two. So let's start with the SSL native. We'll go back and forth. Those sound really close to me. Uh, did I mention these plugins are for free? Like if you haven't checked these out and this is the first video you're seeing from John, I'm sorry that it's me and not John, uh, but also make sure you check out these plugins. They are uh, fully free plugins for Reaper. Now I have subscribed to his Patreon to give him a donation because of all the great work he's doing. You know, this is literally like hundreds of dollars of plugins he's giving for free um, in the suite of plugins he has. Let's take a look at uh, something that, uh, most people will you will think of like the first thought you think of a bus compressor is going to be on your master effects. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Um, I'm using the SSL bus compressor uh, on my master channel. Now I have it doing maybe two to three dB of gain reduction. Let's just look at it as it plays. Yeah, it's sitting right there at the 2 to 3 dB gain reduction. I have the attack all the way up, I have the release all the way down. You can also use the release at auto depending on the song and how it acts. Uh, I would say when you're working with it, just play between the two. Uh, only a 2 to 1 ratio. The thing that I do here differently than any other SSL application that I do is I take the makeup gain all the way down to negative 5 dB. Uh, I learned that in a video somewhere, and I don't remember where, and I'm sorry to the person that I ripped this off from, that I'm now passing off as my own, uh, but I find it gives me more headroom when I start adding channels and adding effects and just pushing all this stuff to the master fader. It brings it down. I don't have to worry about um, clipping or you know doing the thing where you take all your faders and you bring them all the way down. This helps a lot. Now, you'll notice when I bring up the Toucan bus compressor here, and we'll do the same thing. We'll kind of stage this out. This does not have a way to, to reduce the volume with the output. So when I put when I'm going to put something through here, it's automatically going to be probably five dB louder, uh, even getting the same settings because of the fact there's no way to do the output, which is it's kind of a, a most uh, input and output is not a reduction; it's an increase uh, on a compressor because you're incre you're reducing the volume with compression. You want to make it up uh, with that. However, there is another plugin that works very well, and actually, there's probably a couple, but the one that I found was this JS preamp, um, and we'll bring this out here. We will move this up right below the compressor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get about five dB here. There's no numbers, so I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it, and then we'll get a little bit closer later on, but I just wanna kinda of start out with, uh, with that as I dial this in. So let's look at the settings here. Uh, again, it was um, a two to one ratio. So I'm gonna bring this down to two, and I'm holding the shift key down while I do this so the numbers don't fly by too fast for my old eyes, my old dad eyes. Um, attack is going to be all the way up at 30, which is just shy of auto. So auto is actually just past 31 here. Move this to 30. Release is going to be at 100, which is the default. 
that I've just moved now. If you hold down control and click on the knob, it will go back to the default in his plugins. And then I'll put it in stereo mode. And I'm gonna bring back the threshold. It's probably gonna to have to be pretty close to zero to bring in some uh, gain reduction here. Let me turn on both of these. Uh, and by the way, that control B trick to go between plugins works with multiple plugins as well. You can see as I hit it here, it goes between one versus two. It depends on what's clicked at the time and what's selected and not that will make it work. So let's kind of just dial in some compression here. Now let's compare it back and forth. This is where I'm gonna have to adjust the volume a little bit. Uh, don't really listen to this as a sound comparison, I'm just kind of doing volume level match. All right, that's pretty good. Let's do a sound comparison. I'll uh, start with the SSL here. That's pretty good. I mean, this this because it's such a low um, ratio and a low uh, amount of gain reduction here, 2 to 3 dB is really hard to hear in a full mix, but I'm not hearing any differences between these two plugins. What that tells me, not that one is better than the other, but that I could substitute this uh, these two plugins here for what the SSL Native is doing if I didn't want to spend the ridiculous amount of money that the SSL Native charges for the Essentials Bundle. Uh, it's currently like $479 US. I bought it on sale for like $59.99 on a weird sale that they had one year. Um, I would stick with the Toucan if I didn't already own this. Uh, let's take a look, you know, so far, these have been kind of like, I don't really even hear the compression that's so low, all it is is really glue. Let's take a listen to something that really, really slams a compressor, which is parallel drum compression. So if you listen to just my parallel drum compression track, this is just compression only, I'm slamming this. And then what I do is I take that and I mix it into the actual drums. So let's try to uh, simulate this with the Toucan plugin. So do the same thing I've been doing here, move it up, uncheck it, pop it out there. So these settings are much more uh, aggressive and drastic than uh, what I've been using previously. Um, we'll put it in stereo mode here. The ratio is all the way up at 10 to one. And get this to 10 to 1. The um, release is at 100, which is the default. Uh, good idea on the on the default, John. Uh, and then the attack is at 10 milliseconds here. But where we really dial things in is the amount of compression we're putting in and then the makeup gain. Uh, if you notice, you know, you saw over here, we're getting like almost pegged the needle uh, for compression. So I'm going to immediately turn this threshold way down and uh, we'll flip over and we'll see what it sounds like here. It's just nasty sounding. It's really great to bring in, to bring that punch into your drums. Let's go back and forth between the two. I mean, I still have to do some volume matching with the output gain. Uh, see what it sounds like here. That sounds really good. Uh, let me play the entire mix with the Toucan plugins engaged and the SSL native off. Let me make sure that that's really the case here and uh, see what it sounds like. Did 
this sounds great, John. You uh, knocked this one out of the park. Uh, I don't know if you meant to have this be an SSL um, comparison or if this is just a bus compressor that you developed on your own. I think it sounds great. I think it's easy to work with. Uh, it looks like an SSL because there's blue and green and the knobs and everything, but uh, I think uh, this is a great, the great little plugin here. Uh, I am going to start using this in my mixes and uh, thank you very much for this, John. I kind of used all my jokes up, so I don't have one to end the video with, but in my channel, I don't really end the videos with the jokes. I kind of start them because if I ended them, you would hang up on me right away. And if I start them, wait, no, that's the other way around. I guess uh, enjoy the plugins. Let me know what you think. Let John know what you think and uh, have yourselves an amazing uh, week or month or until next time. See ya. <laughs> a four can. <laughs> that's a good one.